Hey there, what's up YouTube? I am Jerry and welcome back to the program, The Chicago Griller. Chicago has no shortage of famous pizza restaurants ranging from Uno's to Gino's East to Lou Malnati's to Giordano's. But what do they have all in common? They're all primarily deep dish restaurants and quite frankly, that is way too complicated to prepare here at home. So let's go hipsterize it and go make us a non-pizza. Every good pizza starts with a crust, and today we're going to use this pre-made naan made by Stonefire. You could find this at pretty much any grocery store chain. And now, onto a tray of all of our toppings for the day. Here we have a ball of mozzarella, prosciutto, spinach, and of course the pizza sauce. Let's get assembling. The first thing we have to do is cut our ball of mozzarella into smaller slices. Now grab a knife and start cutting off slices of cheese from the ball of mozzarella. Now, you want to add as much cheese as you like, but I typically find that I could add about half a ball of mozzarella cheese to one standard size piece of naan by stone fire. And as you see, that's six slices of cheese, about half of that ball of mozzarella. And now it's time to prepare the naan. As you can see, naan has a bumpy side with a bunch of bumps and ridges, and a smoother side, which doesn't have the bumps and ridges. Now I typically like arranging my ingredients on the bumpy side instead of the smooth side. So I'm gonna oil the bumpy side first. So now we drizzle some olive oil on the bumpy side of the naan first. Now, I'm gonna get my hands in there and make sure I spread the oil across all the bumps and ridges. You could do this with a basting brush, but I find that a little bit slower and far too civilized for my taste. Once you're satisfied with how you've oiled the bumpy side, you could turn it over and repeat the process on the smoother side. And like before, we just drizzle some oil on top Then get our clean hands in there and rub it all over the smooth side. Once that's thoroughly coated, we're ready for the grill. And we prepped outside on the patio today so we don't have far to go. We've preheated the Weber Q2000 to medium. And all you gotta do is slide the bumpy side of the knot down directly on the grill grates, close the lid, and cook for two minutes. Two minutes later and we're back. We're gonna pull this knot off the grill. Now we'll close the lid and let the grill come back up to temperature while we add the ingredients. Check out those grill marks on that knot. Looks pretty good, right? The first thing we're gonna add is of course our pizza sauce. So just grab a spoon and layer it directly on top of your knot. Add another spoonful here, smooth it on out. And it's looking pretty good. Next, I'm going to layer on the mozzarella cheese and the prosciutto. And here we have the cheese. You're just going to lay those mozzarella cheese slices directly on top of the pizza sauce. As I said before, I usually cut about six slices for a single piece of naan. Next up is prosciutto. So we're just going to take that and layer it directly on top of the mozzarella cheese. It's important to note here that I typically use cured meats like prosciutto or pepperoni. The reason is the temperature and grill time that we are using for this naan pizza is not adequate to heat up things like pork, Italian sausage, and so forth. Now that I have the meat and cheese layered on, it's important to add some greens. My mom has always said I never get enough vegetables, so I think she'll be proud here. The spinach, however, will wilt a little bit in the grill, but that's okay. We're going for taste, not looks. And now that all the toppings have been applied, it's back to the grill. Now open the lid and slide that pizza directly on the grates. Oops, I lost one spinach leaf. There we go. 
Now shut the lid and cook for about three minutes. And here we are three minutes later for a total cook time of five minutes and we are ready to get this pizza off of the grill. And as you can see, I don't have a fancy pizza paddle so I'm just gonna slide this onto the cutting board that I had from earlier. But no worries, I'm gonna get this over the table and plate it up and present to you the final dish, non-pizza made on a Weber Q. So that's how I make non-pizza on a Weber Q. Let me know what toppings you like to have on your pizza or what kind of pizza you like to have down in the comments section below. If you enjoyed what you saw today, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that like button, or even better, if you subscribed. Thanks for joining me again. I look forward to seeing you again next week when I bring you some all new recipes. Thanks and have a good night.